it's not a basically a particular cloud based on any, uh, it's not, there's no particular policy, right? You can deploy to that or not that, okay? So it actually works with all of the different clouds in our network. At the same time, uh, it has the life cycle benefit. So let's say today you want to get something else, and tomorrow you're coming to the new company, new, new version of your application, that will be stored. Okay, so that's how the user itself actually uh, indicate that the user is for this. Okay, now let's talk to the new hybrid architecture. So, as you can see here, like, uh, in the model, particularly, we have the cloud model, and uh, we have two particular machines. Let's say, a machine is in that way. In that way, also, we see two other machines. But now, what happens is, like, uh, as you show, actually works on the model parts. We have two parallel models, like, you can see the model and the model data. So, your model will be a piece of application that will be wrapped up in a particular, you can say, you know who it is, so that's a name space actually. Okay, the same way you do actually add it as a model, and then that's where your name space has your application required. Okay. So now let's come to the micro cables. So anyone else here know the mini cube before? A lot of you. Mini cube cables. Yeah. So like mini cube cables, a lot of tools are there. So you can compare the same thing with that. Okay. So micro cable is officially coming from Canonical. The same stuff is like mini cube or maybe KPS. So what these particular tools are doing is like they are making your Kubernetes environment too simpler. You can just create your cluster, they just have one or two commands. That's all. You have to do nothing. Okay. So uh, that's what it says like it's a faultless Kubernetes. So you don't have to make much effort to uh, speed up your cluster. Or else you can say like simplest way to get your Kubernetes anywhere. Because as I said, like you can just do commands work and then you have the and that can be your auto production level cluster, right? It's a test time, you know, maybe you want to do a uh, quick demo, or you know, maybe you want to do uh, some uh, like, uh, normal stuff like that. Okay, and uh, one of the major things is like uh, if you go with the micro and this is also a CNC certified distribution we have. So if you go in CNC landscape, you can find this is one of their and then they have uh, they added there as a particular project. Okay, so uh, now let's talk about like this. You have to do in place and then you have micro cables. How are you going to combine both of them and do the requirement? So if you see here, like, uh, we have particular British mode and there we have a lot of stuff like maybe pod or maybe uh, like uh, consistent volume or other state. As I said previously, like, the model is the game space only. So as it is a game project, but it's model and not the same space. I just call it as model. So, in the Kubernetes, you take as a game space, but in YouTube, you will be saying as a model. Okay? And uh, once you will deploy, you can access the app, see from the YouTube video itself. Like, uh, instead of writing, you see the other parts, you will use the YouTube video. Okay? So, uh, I guess that's all for the story. Let's move to the hands on part. And uh, we're going to have a quick demo. Like, uh, how you install YouTube on Ubuntu and uh, how you install the micro and then we will not deploy on the application there. That can be even extremely later on. So, yeah, let's start with the So, currently, I do have a Ubuntu instance running here. Okay, so if you see, like, uh, okay, so Thank <laughs> you. 